Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. Pretty much, I'm drinking a litre of water. I've got a little glass bottle here. And I have a reverse osmosis sort of just fill up this bad boy. I'm pretty much drinking a litre of water before every meal. Before breakfast, before lunch, before dinner. Knock back a litre of water, 10 to half an hour before my meal. Just help hydrate the body. Oh, it's all about hydration, man. Hydration is key. Hydration is key for everything, man. Especially for digestion. So we've got this good little sports drink. This is organic coconut sugar. Get it from any, any shop, get it online. Get half a cup. It's about 100 grams. And uh, tap them in there. So this is a good sports drink without all the flavors and preservatives and hexane solid bullshit you get in, the, in all the other commercial sports drinks. I put a little bit more in there. Hey, leave some for me. Leave some for there. So that's a good one. Put fill up with filtered water. It's a great little sports drink meal to go. Give it a good shake up. Make sure you clean your bottles afterwards though with a brush. Put a brush in there, no, I don't, but no, it's okay. we know we'll give it a brush, so otherwise it can get a bit mouldy if it's in the hot sun. That's a good, that's your sports drink. Done. Easy, cheap, healthy, lean. Or above all, lean and healthy. Tasty as fuck as well. So, a good little 500 calorie snack here. It's the uh, guava juice, it's just guava puree, uh, vitamin C, sugar, citric acid. So, another little vegan snack here. It's about one litre. Good 500 calorie sugar hit. You want to keep the sugars in, man. Sugars feed your blood blood cells. If you want to make your muscles stronger, your heart go longer, and beat stronger, man. Red blood cells and all that stuff. Power. It's all about power, man. It's all about glucose derived ATP. Mental function. Glucose derived ATP. Glucose for the brain. Blood glucose. Keep the sugars up, man. Smash the fucking sugar in. Keep the fat low as. You want to be lean. So back in the mulberry tree, I'm going to eat these bad boys until I puke or we run out of mulberries. Mulberry tree here. Man, fruit from the trees are fucking my most favourite food. I wish it was more easily accessible for everyone, including myself. Mm. Incredible, man. Incredible. So I'm going to eat these bad boys, trying to get at least, at least 500 calories. There's not a lot left, but we'll see what we can do. Fresh fruits. Doesn't get any better than that, man. Nothing better than that. So I was at riding today, caught up some lads on the tandem. The guy on the back is blind, and he has his sight right on the front. I'm going up Norton Summit here. I think, isn't it cool how people who can't even see are going, fuck it, I still want to ride my bike up hills. I want to ride my bike up hills. I can't see, but I'm going to jump in the back of a tandem and organise it. That's fucking legendary. So sitting up in the tree, up in the canopy. Very high rainforest tree. No, I'm only probably maybe three or four meters off the ground. Mulberries. Bam, look at that. Look at that. It's the white shit too. Mm. Very sweet. This one's a bit more ripe. A bit wider. Bit hard to see the camera. Very, very good. I've been sitting here for about an hour. Jumping between the tree, tree to tree. This is tree yoga. Definitely a human tree, the old mulberry. Nice smooth branches. Really good. I mean, fruit. You might see me smash down vegan pizzas and whatever. But man, tree ripened fruit. Nothing. Nothing comes close to tree ripened fruit, man. This is the fucking premium. Premium content. That. Thousands of thousands and thousands of nutrients that science has yet to discover in the tree ripened piece of fruit. Incredible. Mm. Incredible. Like I can say, it's incredible. <laughs> Fuck. It's 
so tasty, just endless. Just keep eating, man. I could literally eat here for probably four hours. Literally. But we need a few more trees because, you know, they're not always ripe, so you got to keep your eyes open. Isn't it funny that some people say, Fruit's not a natural food. You wouldn't eat fruit in nature. <laughs> oh, fucking shut up. Go back to KFC with your fucking paleo t-shirt and just leave us alone, man. We're trying to get lean, fit, and healthy. Take your bullshit elsewhere, thanks. <laughs> Crazy, man. Cut down the fruit trees, plant more cows. Erode the topsoil. Basically, the situation in Australia is that you need at least $2 million to get a fruit farm going in Australia, something that's already established, just to feed a couple of people. Because Australia's soil is just so fucked. The land is just so fucked from all the grass-fed grazing for the last hundred years. It's just thrashed. The topsoil is about like that. For topsoil to be really good, you need like at least a metre of topsoil to really be pumping, pumping out the quality-tasting fruits. We don't have that in Australia because we've just fucked it up with all the grazing and shit. Crazy, but, you know, do what you can do. Do what you can do. One of the questions was, uh, you can live on, on a, one of the mistakes vegans do is eat too much food. You can live on 500 to 1,000 calories a day, something like that. It's like, okay, okay, how long have you been doing this lifestyle for? A few days? Two or three days? <laughs> I'll give you to the end of the week before you start binging on shit. This is crazy that people just say that shit. 500 to 1,000 calories a day. So a grown fucking adult can live on the same calories as a, a newborn baby, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's shit people fucking say, man. One way to make a lot of money on people, this is this is the model that's been used in the war food movement, health food movement, is these fucking clowns, these quacks, talk about, they always do some biblical text, text at the start, you know, don't judge, blah, 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 scripture text, wear white robe, whatever bullshit. No judgment, no judgment. Talk about breathianism, whatever. So all the smart people just walk out of the room or go, this dude's a fucking quack, a, a, a fruit loop. And all the gullible people left, and they'll just buy whatever you're selling, pretty much. It's just crazy. But it's good that I see these comments come up on my channel or our forum, and quickly, our educated viewers will go, hey, that's fucking bullshit. It's bullshit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you some stories of the best there and people I've met. But I met one guy when I come out training with us. We had to turn around. I said, "Man, it's a hot day. So you're gonna end up in the fucking hospital, and I'm not gonna be responsible for it." So I grabbed him by the neck, like gently, just said, "Dude, turn your bike around. We're taking you back." He was fucked, man. He was fucked. Glucose exhausted, dehydrated, hot summer's day, North Queensland. Yeah, you know, it's fucked, man. And he's like, oh, my, my partner's all out of balance and shit, you know. <laughs> so, dude, you got a fucking eating disorder, man. Get some help. Go to hospital or whatever, man. Get some clinical help, man. Go down the lockdown ward and give them the fucking force feed you. Like, it's because you, your psychosis has just gone too far. When people have got mental health issues like that, that's where medical establishment can be good. And it's getting locked up, man. It's getting force fed. It might sound brutal, but these people aren't able to help themselves. So when you aren't able to help yourself because you're drunk or in a psychosis, so you need medical help to snap you back out. Definitely. What else are you going to do? I've, I've known a lot of people who've died, man. Kill themselves, commit suicide or fasting or whatever. They had a mental psychosis going on, you know, just got in this purity mindset and it just went too far. So I definitely, I'm a fan of people getting locked up for their, for their benefit, 100%. I'm not a fan of most things in the medical world, but definitely the mental health system, locking people up for a few weeks, just feeding them up, even if it's shit food, just to get them a bit out of the psychosis. Because if you can't look after yourself, then someone's going to look after you. And I, I definitely think it's a good thing that happens now and then, is people getting locked up. And it's good, and it's just like, okay, that individual can then reassess their current strategy of what's happening in their lifestyle and just fine tune it. So it's not a bad thing if you get locked up or whatever. 
to see it as an experience to make you a better person. Just like, it's like getting a flat tire on a bike. Learn how to fix it. Move on. Don't don't dwell on it. Don't dwell on it. Just it just happens and deal with it. Just learn from it. There's no mistakes in life. It's just lessons to learn from. Well, the only mistake would be if you didn't learn from that lesson. That would be a mistake. That would be a mistake. So at the dog park, got a 700 calorie bag of crystallized ginger. It's basically ginger and sugar. So you're at the dog park. Little critters over there. I'm actually reading a book at the moment, I Quit Sugar, ebook by uh, Sarah Wilson. I, uh, I'm just, I'm fucking outraged. <laughs> this girl is saying that, like, she's eating 90 grams of sugar a day. She's like, I was eating up to 30 teaspoons of sugar a day. There's fucking 60 teaspoons of sugar in this snack. My girlfriend eats 50 bananas a day sometimes. Sarah, she's leaner than you. She doesn't have any health issues like you currently do. Oh, my God, I know where to start this book. This is outraging me. I'll do a separate video on the, the I Quit Sugar Apple book. It's, it's very popular in Australia because in Australia we, we have a lot of fat people here and they love to hear good things about bacon and eggs. So if you get told, you can eat bacon and eggs and the reason why you're fucking fat is because of bananas you never fucking eat. Then, so for three bananas a, a week you eat. That's why you're obese. It's not the fucking bacon, eggs and cream. Australians fucking love that shit. They lap it up. Best selling book fucking straight away. I'll do a separate video on that one. So that's the ginger snack here. Fuck man, I'm, I'm fucking outraged at this book. This is hilarious. Hilarious. So we have here about a smash down a dinner. We've got two 500 grams, so two one pound bangs of organic pasta. It's just, ingredients are organic durum wheat semolina. So it's just wheat gluten. That's a kilo there. It's about 3,000 calories. A bit over, but 3,100 calories for Zeus too. That's going to be one meal. Have with it just some basic tomato sauce. You can make your own sauce. This is just to, to show people how easy it is. This has got no oil in it. It's got 0.4 of a gram of fat per 100 grams. So it's got about two grams of fat roughly for the whole jar. Two grams of fat. The pasta, how many grams of fat in pasta? Uh, 1.3. So you got about 10 grams of fat for the whole thing. So 12 grams of fat for 3,100 calories. That's what we're talking about. Lean. Lean, the fat you eats the fat you wear. You want to be lean? Fucking the carb the fuck up. Water. I'm going to smash down a quarter of water. Remember, muscle. Muscle. Muscle gains. Muscle styrations in the fucking shot. All that fat's just been scooped out of there. That's what we call lean fucking shit, man. Lean delts. No steroids, no clenbutyl. People are like, holy, give them the clenbutyl. I don't need fucking clenbutyl, man. I eat clean and lean all year long. Physique of greatness. Don't need to do the steroids and cut down man just be a legend of aesthetics naturally be the strongest version of yourself without the steroids guys want to get big muscles lift heavy weights want to have big cardio ride a fucking bike up a hill run up mountains water smash down a quart muscle 80 percent plus water where do you get your water from bro <sighs> smashed it down always have a glass bottle fill it up Knock it back. I use plastic on the bike. BPA free plastic. At home use glass. Glass. Let's fucking carb the fuck up and smash this meal down, shall we? Epic meal time. Vegan style. Lean style. Look at that fucking tendon. The cross tendon there. You don't see the cross tendon on many people. That's definitely a sign you're lean. Lean as tricep shelf. <laughs> the, the bicep arc and that cross tendon. That brachial tendon there, that's lean. That's fucking 1.8% body fat just there. This is for the low carbs out there. <laughs> William Davis, eh? Hey? William Davis and all the low carbs. This is for you guys starving yourself to get lean. <laughs> Liver as lean as during right. This meal is dedicated. Oh Lord, dedicate this meal to all the low carbs out there starving themselves and clogging their arteries and fucking up their insulin receptor sites from a high fat, low carb. Animal based diet. Amen. There's some sauces here. You put some vegan oil free sauces on there. Varies from country to country. You got a lot of vegan sauces out. Just Google it up. Oil free sauce is what we want. Boom. Where's the book? Where's the diabetes Bible? This is a recipe from Dr. Neil Bernard's book. The guest book fetch your recipe today. Pasta and sauce. Very basic, very cheap, organic. 
very simple to get, very cheap, very economical, very satisfying. That's 3,100 calories in there. 3,000. Cars make you fat. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All the people starving out there, this meal's for you. Let's chow down. Let's eat. Let's feast. Let's carb the fuck up. Dear Lord, please forgive our brothers and sisters, Mark Sisson, Sally Fallon, Lauren Cordain, Rob Wolf, Jimmy Moore, Low Carb Levita. Please forgive them for their nutritional sins. They're just cashing in on telling people good things about their bad habits by following the Amazon trends and writing books to associate the income with that. Amen. <laughs>